In this video, we'll be fixing this hole that I'm having in my drywall with DAP Fast and Final Lightweight Spackling. Link in description if you want to get one. The first step is to make sure that the hole is actually flush with the wall. I mean, if there are some pieces of a drywall sticking out, you'll need to sand it or to remove them. So here I'll just pull those small parts and uh, then I'll try to sand it. Okay, now it looks much better. If I pass my hand, there's nothing sticking out. Now it's time to take one of these. It's a putty knife. You can also take maybe a credit card, anything that is flat. This is how it looks. It's uh, almost like whipped cream. First, I suggest you take just a bit like this even this I think it's too much but let's try with that and the first thing you want to do is to try to fill the hole with spackling push it right inside and you'll probably need to pass a few times just to make sure that it goes in and fills the hole now you'll need to add a bit more right after and this time not only the hole but around it too so we'll be able to blend it well with the rest of the wall. Don't worry if it's not perfect because we'll sand it anyway after. Take the excess of the knife and put it back in the jar and make sure that you close it firmly so it doesn't dry out. And wait 24 hours. 24 hours this is how it looks. It's a bit rough, so we'll need to sand it. The first uh, sanding, just do everything. Pass over all the spackling. Don't worry about the edges. Then when you're done, pass your fingers and feel if there's any holes or anything. And the next step will be to sand the edges so it bends more with the rest of the wall. If you're satisfied, if it's very smooth, you can go ahead and paint over it and you'll be done. But here I find that it's not quite smooth and uh, I'll need to apply more spackling. So I'll try to do the same thing I did the first time by filling the holes that I'm filling. It will be much more easier. I will need even less spackling this time. Now the surface looks a lot smoother. I'll have to wait another 24 hours to dry. All right, well, 24 hours now, and what we'll do is to sand it as we did the first time with some sandpaper. Much, much better. When I pass my fingers over it, I can't feel any, anything there. The only place where I feel something is on the edges. So I'll just have to sand a bit more here so it bends more with the rest of the wall. Although we can still see where the hole was, when I pass my hands, everything is buttery smooth. So all we have to do now is to paint the wall and everything should disappear by itself. If you don't have the paint that is the same as the rest of the wall, just go to Home Depot or any hardware store and they will be able to match it if you bring a small sample. So thanks for watching, I hope this was useful, please like, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one.